What of the dollar you murder for? Hello, welcome to SI3. You know, different venue this time, but I'm your host, Lamar L.A. Smith, and I'm about to give you, you know, your weekly sports news. First, I'm about to talk about baseball, MLB. My man, Global Eagle Sensation, and New York Yankees prodigy, Marcelo Tanaka, lost his first game. His first regular season start since 2012, and his first in the majors. He's now 6-1. He had his worst performance, but when you're this great, his worst wasn't that bad. Pitched six innings, eight hits, four runs, three earned runs. So, his ERA is 239 right now, but he should be back. It's Monster Hero Tanaka. Then, we had Crush Davis, Chris Davis, real name, hit three home runs and a 9-2 route of the Pirates. Then, on that same day, you had Trevor Barr outplayed Verlander. Justin Verlander, one of the best pitchers in the game, an ace for the Tigers. Verlander pitched six innings, gave up 11 hits and five runs, and his record is now five and three. So Verlander needs to get back on his grind. And then also we had Prince Fielder, who for the first time will be missing a big portion of the season. He had, a, had an MLB lead in consecutive game streak with 576 game streak that he played from his career when he started, when his first full season in 2006 to 2013. He only missed 13 games. This year, when he gets next surgery that will end his season this year, he will miss 120 games this year, which last year he played for Detroit. Now he plays for the Rangers. He, they acquired him in the offseason. It will be a big blow to the Rangers' hopes of making the playoffs this year. Next, I want to talk about the NFL. Michael Sam, you know, the first openly gay player, he gets drafted in the seventh round, 249 overall by the St. Louis Rams. And Michael Sam, I don't, I don't think his preference matters. It's about winning games. So whether wants to clown him or get mad at him because he's gay. If he's gay, he's gay. Who Who is anyone to say because of his preference? He kissed his boyfriend on television. So be it. He did this and that in the third. But when he was drafted, before he was drafted, his projection was a third to fifth round pick. Now, his draft stock dropped simply because he lacks the NFL athleticism that will make him a star or a solid starter in the NFL. Now, the reason why he got drafted, outside of maybe people's perception because, oh, the NFL doesn't want to look homophobic, is because he's a hard worker. He, he, he's a grinder. He's, he's a pass pr protection beast. He, he pass, his pass rushes at me. And not only he's the SEC co-defensive player to get, so that's a nice thing. You got rookies, Wardle, Bridge, Water, Manziel, and Clown E.R. and nice rookie camps. But that's probably about the biggest highlight lately with the NFL. Next, I want to get in the PGA Tour. Tiger Woods had surgery earlier this year. Tiger Woods was the number one golfer in the world rankings at once, but he lost his spot to Adam Scott simply because, one, Adam Scott has been playing solid all year. Adam Scott even won the Australian Open last year and is really stout as far as the major pool and he's and he's been in the top finishes in the major lately. So it wasn't a surprise, but Tiger, he hasn't had a successful year. When he won last year, he won five five events and he was and he was arguably the best golfer in the PGA tour last year and has been for many years to come. So he just hasn't been on his ground. People say, right now, it's trying to say you can rule them out for the June 12th U.S. Open, so you may not see Tiger there, and there's no timetable for his return. But Tiger will be back. He's a beast. He ha he needs to win. I need you, Tiger, right now, inside three snap. I need you to win a, a, a major soon. I need you. You're my favorite golfer by far, and I need you to win a major soon. Legacy depends on it, despite the fact Leads the PGA Tour all-time wins. Next, I want to get into NHL. 
The Kings beat the Ducks in the second round, 4-3, one, three, three, straight, three straight games at one point in the series. Jonathan Quick, goalie, phenomenon. He propelled another comeback by the Kings in order for them to get out that round. And it just says a lot about their tenacity and their stout. They won two game sevens just to get to the conference finals. They faced the Blackhawks, who they faced last year in the conference finals. Blackhawks beat them in six. Both of them are, are at it right now. Currently, the Black Blackhawks are leading 1-0 in their conference finals matchup. And then you had the Rangers. They beat the Penguins. Stout Penguins squad. Penguins led the series 3-1. And then the Rangers came back and won three straight. One game, one game seven, thanks to the, the glamour and the grit of one of the best goalies in the NHL, Henrik Lundqvist. And the Canadians, they beat the Bruins 4-3 in a, a tough, tough series between two grit and grind rivals in NHL history. Big rivalry, Canadians won. And now you have the Rangers up 2-1 versus, versus the Canadians. Canadians, in my opinion, stole the one. Stole the win uh, last night, I believe it was. They, they, yeah, it was last night. Stole the win. Uh, their rookie, Dustin Tokarski, had 35 saves, picked up his first playoff win as a rookie. And he prepared a 3-2 overtime win. And also you have you have uh, Henry Luckwist in game two who had 40 saves to help them win a, a big game. Now I want to talk about soccer. You have Landon Donovan, the greatest golfer, not, not golfer, my bad, scratch that, the greatest soccer player in, in United States history, matter of fact. 57 goals in his career in the World Cup. He leads in an in Olympic and a, a U.S. play. He leads them in World Cup go, goals with five. He's a beast. Uh, he's getting older, but you know, the only def defeatist approach is age at this point. He got left out on the 23-man roster, which I think is a travesty. He may be 32, but he played for the MLS Galaxy for LA, and he's a beast golf. I mean, beast soccer player. Dang, my words is all messed up. Don't mind that. Beast soccer player. Soccer player. But he will get his grind back, and Keep going. But last, I'm going to wrap it up quickly with the NBA draft. NBA draft, the draft lottery had the Cavs winning the number one pick for the second time year in a row in three of the last four years. The Cavs got the number one pick, Bucks number two, Sixers three, Orlando four, Utah five, Boston six, seven was LA Lakers, eight Sacramento, nine Charlotte. 10 was Philadelphia, 11 Denver, 12 Orlando again, 13 Minnesota, 14 Phoenix. Right now, the number one pick is coming down to three, three freshmen. Three of the focus, freshmen focused players. You got Andrew Wiggins, Joel MD, you got Jabari Park. Right now, I think Andrew Wiggins is going to get picked number one. He's the most athletic. They need a swing man right now. And Wiggins has a lot of potential on upside, so I think that'd be a nice pick. And also, in the conference finals right now, you had two, oh, you had the Spurs leading. They've been dusting the Thunder right now. The ball movement is incredible. They have a great coach in Greg Popovich. And what can you say, Spurs back basketball. So if the Thunder want to have any chance of coming back, they need to get game three. They lose game three, the series is over. They might as well pack their bags and stay in OKC while the Spurs move on to the NBA Finals where they will have an eventual inside 380 stand NBA Finals matchup with my team, the, team, the 2013 two-time champs NBA Heat. Miami Heat, Miami Heat, Miami Heat. NBA's Miami Heat. Right now, they're, they're two, two East, beasts of the East, their powers, the Heat versus the Pacers. The Pacers Series tied 1-1. The Pacers took a, a offensive juggernaut game one. And so, not surprisingly, he took a gritty defensive game two. Game two, all I can say is D. Wade and LeBron turned up on the Pacers. 87-83. D. Wade and LeBron combined for 22 points. 
in the fourth quarter. More points than the Pacers by themselves. D-Way had Sam LeBron had 12. D-Way led the Heat for a second straight game with 23 points. Three straight games in the playoffs with 20 plus. Last time he did that was in the 2012 NBA Finals. So my man D-Wade is back. Don't, don't think, don't sleep on him because of, say them knees messed up all that. D-Wade is back. The Flash is back. No more flashbacks, just Flash. He is back. D-Wade is what you call primetime showtime play. And when the lights are bright, he plays big. Played big last year, he's playing big right now. And even though Chris Bosh needs a jump started, I believe that as long as the supporting cast do what they need to do, you have D-Wade, you got LeBron, they can win it. They can win another championship. Three P for the Heat. That's all I got to say about that. But, you know, it's been another Inside 380 show. I'm your host, Lamar L.A. Smith. My host, Ron, will be back. And next week, I will host my farewell to McKinley Tech. Inside 380, L.A. out.